everyone, this is Scotty from Soyuz Microphones, here for another Soyuz Minute. Today we're going to be talking about our 1973 Large Diaphragm FET Condenser. Inspired by the golden age of FET microphones, the 1973 features a version of our now legendary bomblet capsule, which is based on Lomo's take of the famed C12. The Soyuz sound has become synonymous with our hand-wound transformers, and despite being a transformerless mic, the 1973 still brings with it all the characteristics of a Soyuz microphone. The three words I would use to describe the 1973 are present, detailed, and versatile. Now let's break that down. When you step in front of the 1973, you will be met with a textured but never boomy low end, a clear yet warm mid-range, and a top end that is sweet and smooth in a way that only a handmade capsule can be. The 1973 is equipped to take on any source. There is a three-way switch on the bottom that allows you to select between 0, negative 10, or negative 20 decibels of gain reduction. This gives you the flexibility to capture the subtle nature of a softly sung vocal, articulate the intricacies of a fingerstyle guitar, or capture the subtle details of any voiceover, which you're actually hearing on my voice right now. You can use the 1973 to capture a loud aggressive vocal, close mic a guitar cab, bass cab, kick, snare, or tom. The 1973 will bring out the best in all of them. Like all of our mics, the 1973 is completely designed and handmade in Tula by our own master machinists, with the same quality and care you see going into everything we make. To hear the 1973 on a variety of sources, visit our listening library. To learn more about the 1973 Soyuz microphones or how you can get one for yourself, visit SoyuzMicrophones.com.